Hey, what is up guys? My name is Guillaume, this is Thurman's Guitars and Basses, and in this week's episode of Hit the Tone, we look at the song Supermassive Black Hole by Muse, starting with our guitar setup. <laughs> And what a guitar setup it is, because uh, Matt Bellamy is famous for using tons and tons and tons of different gear, whether it's guitar-wise, amp-wise, pedal-wise, and tons of fairly original stuff as well, like things that you don't see everywhere. So uh, he's obviously uh, using Manson guitars for the most part, the, the silver one, the black one, the one with the screen, the one with the touchpad. Uh, really, really cool guitars, uh, kind of hard to come by, basically just like uh, T-type. Uh, guitars with a humbucker and the bridge and usually a single coil uh, in the neck as far as I know I'm not you know specialist in Manson guitars, but that's the kind of uh, instrument you're looking at uh, Knowing that most of those sort of rhythm parts are going to be played on the bridge humbucker I'd say any guitar with that pickup in that position is going to get you somewhat close to that sound uh, so today I'm using the uh, Gibson Les Paul that's always in the studio that we use in a lot of videos. I uh, really like the sound of that bridge pickup, so that's where I'm going to be with the volume uh, full blast. Now, as far as the amp and pedals are concerned, it's really... It's really hard to say. I don't, I don't know on that song specifically, on that album. He's used everything from Matchless to uh, Deluxe Reverbs to uh, Marshalls, obviously, Diesel amps, some Mesa stuff. Like, depending on the, the period, the rig, the live, the, the, I don't know, direction of the wind, everything tends to change. Uh, and same when it goes to first pedals. I've seen a lot of the Zvex. Uh, fuzz, Fuzz Factory on there, uh, tons of, of really, really cool fuzzes. Uh, we're looking at something that's relatively modern in terms of, of what the fuzz is going to sound like. So I don't think like your typical fuzz face would probably do the trick in that context because it's still very articulate. So today I'm going to be using the Solid Gold FX Imperial Mark II, which is a really, really cool fuzz. Again, fairly modern, so it's going to stay very articulate regardless of how much fuzz you have or how sort of dark you dial it in because fuzz and humbuckers can be tricky as well, but those are super, super versatile. So uh, I'm going to use that fuzz and I'm going right in front of the Fender Deluxe Reverb. I'm using the normal channel, again, because I'm not looking for like a super like Deluxe Reverb sound per se, but really just more of a pedal platform. Uh, the trick for that intro is that I am uh, changing... I'm losing my picks. <laughs> I'm changing the dial on the fuzz. So for the first part of the intro, I'll have the fuzz at about 25%. I, I'd, I'd give a number, but it's a slider, so I don't really know what that would be. Um, and then uh, to go into the actual intro when the drum and bass kicks in, uh, I'll put the fuzz all the way up. But here are the two uh, different sounds. <laughs> So those are my two sounds for this particular song. Uh, in terms of rigging, like simplicity of use, obviously you could go for an amp that's already kind of overdriven, or maybe like a second fuzz that's going to be like a first stage sort of just grit for the pre-intro, and then a second fuzz that you'd kick in for the actual <clears throat> part of it. Uh, but in that context, just to play along with the song and just to play, you know, in your bedroom or just uh, try and record a cover, uh, I think just a one pedal is plenty. Uh, as usual, this will be linked in the description box down below as well as a bunch of alternatives that I think will do the trick for that particular song as well. But with that in mind, let's jump onto the final part of that video, uh, which is how to play the riff. So in itself, uh, not a very complicated riff in terms of like the positions that you need to use. It's mostly either single string fretting 
or uh, going for power chords. There's that little like noodly bit with a half step uh, band uh, like in between the two, but technically speaking, not super hard. Now, the trick is, because you're using that much gain and you're using fuzz, and you better use fuzz on that song, uh, it is, you, you need to maintain as much articulation as possible. So it's kind of, it's gonna be a weird blend of a little bit of pole muting to keep that first part like about as clean as you can get it. And then after that, putting the intention, like the attack that you want with it, dun, 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 like you wanna, you wanna rock on that. You don't wanna just, uh, you know, you know what I mean. Uh, but at the same time, really maintaining as much control as possible over the guitar, making sure that you're very accurate with it and your picking is accurate as well, because otherwise, with that amount of gain, it's just gonna sound messy and no one really wants that. But on that note, I think that's it, guys. You have all the tools you need to hit the tone on the song Supermassive Black Hole by Muse. Uh, as usual, I hope that video was useful, uh, somewhat enjoyable. Uh, if so, please consider liking it and subscribing to the channel so you don't miss out on every other video we put out each week. Take care of yourselves, keep making music, and I'll see you very, very soon. Bye.